Hi, I'm Cider Spider, and I'm on a journey to get every available achievement in Final Fantasy XIV. This monumental grind takes countless hours of gameplay over the span of several years, and I'm taking it on one week at a time. So, let's get started. Anyway, surprising no one, especially if you read the title of the video, we're gonna be doing another variant dungeon. Next up is Alo Alo Island, so we're gonna take this quest, Stranger from Paradise. In the mood for an odd job, are we? Uh, yeah. This better not involve selling fish. Angry. It probably doesn't. Yay! Time for another adventure. Alright, Pasassin. Talk to me, idiot. Okay. Oh, here he comes. Uh, Matanga. Elephant Daddy. Uh, and a talking bird. Gasp! I've never talked to a bird before. Uh, I mean, not recently, anyway. Can you believe even elephant daddies get hats before bunny girls do? <laughs> La mayo. Sucks to suck. Oh, we're getting another history lesson again. What's this super fish out here on the map, though? I, I feel like this kind of demands attention. Look, he's as big as the, the island. Okay, so the only thing on the island is a shrine from an ancient civilization with a gemstone that makes the plants grow. Until everything burned down, and uh, it sucks now. So this bird rode on a coconut across the ocean, even though it could, you know, fly. Worst bird ever. And somehow this is all gonna become my problem. Yay! And then you got this dweeb. Bro looks like he buys horn wax. I bet he's got a microfiber cloth for those glasses. Guy looks like he uses a double-sided comb. He looks like he smells like pine cones. Bro looks like he hangs his toilet paper so that it rolls under. I bet this dude puts beeswax on his shoes. Dude looks like he collects coins. Homeboy looks like he buys ergonomic furniture. Homie looks like he has a prescription back pillow. This is the man that gets the limited warranty. Dude looks like he has insurance on his anime figurines. Bro looks like he's got a different body pillow for every night of the week. And then there's the Chad Matsya. Matsya doesn't look both ways when he crosses the street because he walks in the street instead of on the sidewalk. I mean, just look at this dense Chad. He's got no shirt, no shoes, but he still gets service. Oh, I guess the bird is injured. That's why he can't fly. Stupid bird still sucks, though. Whoa. Walk away, dweeb. Walk away. Well, we're going on an adventure. What the? Hey, gasp. Three idiots. These couldn't be the final bosses, could they? <laughs> Who's this dumb idiot? I take it these aren't friendly pirates. They don't seem like particularly smart ones either. Bro, I can't take this guy seriously. He just looks like someone who puts the can opener on the top of the can. Well, Palo Alo Island is now accessible. Let's go ahead and dive on in. Okay. Looks a lot like my island sanctuary so far. Cool. Ah, crap. I'm still in my weeb glam from the... Kugane one. Oh well, we'll fix it later. Let's eat some jello. I'm gonna follow Matsya. I can always count on Matsya. He looks like he uses Bing maps instead of Google. Something else I can always count on is uh whatever this ability is called. Chaotic Cyclone. Yeah, that thing. Ain't that awesome. Oh, uh, what does the music sound like here? I wonder. It is a very peaceful, not what I expected at all. I guess I probably could have seen that coming after uh what the music was like in the last one. Mount Roko, I keep forgetting the name of it. I was literally there today. I I can't remember the name of it already. It speaks a little bit Mario 64, a little bit Mario Sunshine. It's somewhere in between there. Just with, you know, real instruments instead of, like, whatever wacky sound fonts. Pretty good. Anyway. Well, I see the trash poles are still as trash as ever. I'm a friend. Oh. Okay, so the pirates are, like, the mini-bosses here. Let's see. I want to see if the music changes when combat starts. Hey! You're not allowed to be an arcanist. That's my thing. What? That's not a carbuncle. It's definitely no fairy. Yeah, it's just basic mini-boss music. I'll right, see. Uh, those are halberds. Oh. Okay, so it's just a big AoE. Alright, well that one's obvious, right? It's clearly a donut. Yeah. We've got knockbacks. I gotta say, it's very interesting playing the uh, variant dungeons after having done the first tier of Savage Fights in Dawn Trail, because <laughs> it becomes extremely obvious that these fights were designed by the same people. It's like they used it to experiment. Oh god, this is... This is Bazia again. It's Wooks walking fired man. Why is it always Bazia? Everything goes back to Bazia. Now I know this game only has like five 
different mechanics in it. But holy crap. Do you think we'll ever get new mechanics? When was the last time we got a, a mechanic that was, like, actually new? Probably, like, Alexander, to be honest. I don't think since Heaven's Word. Give me that one. All right, it's Wooks walking time again. Eh. I don't know why I like, call this Wooks. This is nothing like a Wooks walk. <laughs> if you don't know RuneScape, that, that reference means nothing. But the Wooks walking is like a tick manipulation trick where you slide back and forth between two tiles and uh, it times out so that basically what's supposed to be targeted AoEs end up landing while you're sliding between spaces and so you don't get hit by them. And so instead of what would normally be a very movement heavy mechanic, you just stand in two spots and slide back and forth. It's much more like slide casting, but it's been ingrained in my brain as uh, any mechanic where you take a lot of small steps in one direction. And I'm not talking about the sexy boy band. I mean, what? Oh, we got a new magic prism. Uolo Sapa. I think that's the sound you hear before an enemy priest converts all your units. What does it do? Uh, bubbles? But yeah, so far, like, every variant dungeon pull is just three normal enemies and one big dude. It's a bit predictable, and not very interesting. There's just moments like this- oh god, wow. Yeah, what do you know? Three normal enemies and another big dude. <laughs> Holy crap, this every trash pull on this island has been exactly the same. This is kind of depressing. But yeah, remember when raids used to have trash mobs in them for no reason? Back in, like, ARR and the Binding Coils? And everybody hated it, and- pretty much agreed that it was a pointless waste of time, so they just removed it. Like, I can't help but wonder, like, why? Why do variant dungeons have so many trash mobs in them that add nothing to the experience? They're just a waste of your time. Now, it, it wouldn't really feel like a dungeon if it was just two back-to-back -back boss fights with nothing in between them, but at the same time, like, the dungeon trash in between, it just, it really doesn't add anything. I will complain about this as long as I continue to be annoyed by it, which is probably going to be a long time, but I just think they need to find some way to make fighting the trash mobs interesting. You could keep the, the stupid trash mobs, but you have to make them exciting to fight in some way, whether that means having, like, some kind of mechanics to them, which they've started to do with Dawn Trail, so I'm happy with that, or have some reward for fighting them. But when there's no mechanics and no reward, it just feels like a waste of time. Uh, well, that's a, that's a goblin rig. The Lala? That's not a Lala. Let's hear the music. Oh, this is just normal boss music. Will they run out of money or something? Like, the last one had special music for the fights. Oh, well. Ow. A cane blight. Okay, this is already, uh, reminding me of the samurai boss from the previous one. I assume these are line AoEs. Yeah, that's pretty much what they are. Oh. Oh, I, I didn't follow that at all. Uh-oh. Targeted light. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, God. Oh god, okay. This is gonna turn... So we want it to be that one, I think? Yeah. I think I see what's happening with that. It was the, the numbers were what was throwing me off, because it's like, it's got that countdown, but the numbers are just a countdown, they don't actually hold any significance, so... All it tells you is that the thing is gonna rotate. So it basically looks, looks more intimidating than it actually is. Oh god, oh, now mine is gonna rotate. Uh, I assume this is gonna slide me. Yeah, that's what it's doing. Yeah, I don't know if I like this boss. So far, his uh, his gimmick just seems like actually just really annoying. Yeah, you know, these, these are the kind of mechanics that I don't really like that much. Like, they're trying to derive difficulty from the fact that it's kind of confusing to read them, and I think that's a poor way to do difficulty. Like, if... if oh, God. I'm, I'm rotating... Uh, yeah, let's see. I'm freaking screwed. I'm gang. But yeah, I, I can't remember what the last fight I had this complaint about was. It might have been P12S, but anytime they're just trying to confuse you visually, I feel like that's a cheap way to add difficulty. I've never been a fan of that. I consider that gimmicky and not fun. Ah! Right, and there's Number Cruncher for five points. And our treasure is two Allo Allo pot shirts. Because of course it's pot shirts. Oh, much is like fishing out here, that's what he's doing. I guess they did say there was too many fish and they were like overbreeding or whatever, so. Huh. I didn't assume that that's what he was gonna do. <laughs> Come along and fish. Can I fish here? No. I remember in Maple Story 2, you actually could fish in dungeons. <laughs> Sometimes you had to. Anyway, let's do the quest complete and then we'll get to work on the alternate routes. Oh god, gotta deal with this guy. He looks like he carries a lunch pail. Okay. Aunt just says get a brown paper bag like a real man. Like, just look at all of these trees. You could grind them down and make them into paper. 
to make brown bags out of. And so it falls to me to ensure that we deforest the entire island so that Chads can eat lunch. And you know what? I think that's just swell. And I think I know what I'm gonna be having for my next lunch. Now, I'm not a pheasant plucker, but... But... Oh, uh, I guess Elephant Daddy's gotta go to the, the, the fish store. I didn't know you could milk a fish. Learned something new today. Uh, shut up, Pasa son. You look like you drink iced tea. Unsweetened. Bro looks like he owns a Rolodex. What a loser. All right, and then we go back to old Charlian. Shallow Moor. Yay, money. And now we could start collecting entries in our, our journal. Look, we got one. The Roots of Arcanima. This one really doesn't say anything other than that there was probably documents here, but now they're destroyed. It kind of just recounts that we fought this boss, but there's not much more to it, so. Pretty underwhelming as a uh, record. No, but yeah, they're gonna need to put together a more appropriate outfit, and then we'll uh, go ahead and chip away at the remaining 11 paths we've got here. Yay. Okay, so anyway, Chads, here's the situation. Like I said in the last video that I was considering figuring out all the alternate routes on Alo Alo on my own, and I did consider it, but I don't have time. So that's not happening. Where we currently stand, I need to get two videos done, and I don't even have time to make one. So I'm going to be doing Alo Alo in two parts. Today's goal is simple. We want to get all four bosses killed. We've already got one done. That means there are three more that need to be done. And I'll save the mapping achievement and then the all routes achievement for next week. But before we uh, get started on that, I wanted to go and check my island sanctuary. Yep, it is indeed still an island. Oh, uh, I guess I built this. I thought I was making like a rock garden or something. This is like a, like a roller coaster with no uh, roller, whatever. Yeah, cool. How much XP do I get for this? 4,500. Practically none. All right, now we got our new workshop. Look at that. It's level one. God, that's even less XP than the rocks. I suppose I'm supposed to upgrade this place, and that'll probably be, uh, give me a bunch more XP. Uh, yeah, actually, I do have all that stuff, so let's go ahead and start it. Oh, yeah, how'd my workshop do? Pretty well, apparently. 29,000 XP. And there's no gods or kings, only mammoths for 10 points. That's for achieving rank 16 on my island sanctuary. And you'll be thrilled to know we earned a whopping 12,700 calories off of that. Check our foraging. Give me all that. Go to the beach, idiot. And, uh, I don't know, the mountains. Collect all of our junk and all of our plants. And yeah, that should be sufficient. And so we head back to Pasa Sun, who looks like he eats fake cream cheese. And we are going to go ahead and queue back in to Alo Alo Island. Yay. Okay, Matya wants to go right. I tend to agree. Let's do this. Never forget your fruit and aloe jelly. All right, it's dodo time. Now we gotta kill whatever the heck that thing is. And why not have a third trash pack? Everybody loves fighting trash packs, right? I know I do. How many videos in a row do you think I can make complaining about how bad trash packs are in this game? I mean, presumably there's no upper limit, it's just at a certain point I'll have to get tired of it and move on because there ain't no way they're ever gonna do anything different. But hey, you never know. There's a bunch of statues everywhere. And then we got this idiot here. Just let me kill him. I'll, I'll kill him. He's obviously a bad guy. Oh, okay. So I gotta fight this again. I don't really remember what the mechanics were on this. I mean, I only fought it once, so you can kind of forgive me for not remembering, but I don't. This one was an out, though. That I do recall. Oh, well, we finally got some new mechanics. Looks like he's gonna dive a lot. I should be safe here. Eh. Bro, that didn't hit me at all. Yeah, this guy's not as fun to fight. I like the ninja lady better. Bring her back. Especially because he has so many downtime mechanics. Oh, God. But more than anything, I just kind of feel like I'm waiting for him to die. And it's taken forever, mind you. But yeah, that's 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 all we got going on here. Waiting for him to die. And they really love those gaze mechanics in Endwalker. Whoever's been designing the fights, they, they love that circle gaze thing. Oh, I... I got GCD'd. Oh, I'm so screwed. Equilibrium? Uh-oh. 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 Okay. We're fine. Yeah, the mid-boss here is uh, mid-AF. Hopefully on some of the other routes he's got more interesting mechanics, but his gimmick of, uh, you know, throwing AoEs at uh, specified points around the edge of the arena like this, that's just not good. This is very bland. Ah! That was a fairy. How come she's big AF? Can I get a, can I get a Selene that big? I know all the island's secret is secrets. Uh, tell me. 
Joined you there with a snap of my fingers. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Matsya, okay, this is a cave. Do you think there's three trash packs down here? Oh, hey, what do you know? Raptors. Oh my god, they actually, like, they did something different here. Look, it's not just three enemies and then one big enemy. It's six enemies and no big enemies. The innovation is astounding. Wasn't prepared for this. Oh, uh, my, my new Celine. Hey, tell us where the treasure's at. Bye. Whoopee cushions. This very sucks. Oh, I guess we're back to three smalls and a large. This is what I order when I go to the average McDonald's. Three small McChickens and one large McChicken. God, remember when McChickens used to be like a dollar? I remember being outraged when it changed to like a buck twenty-five. Little did I know. Oh no, the raptors have been converted. Oh, it's, it's three raptors and a gooboo instead of six raptors again. I just have to wonder, like, I, I'm genuinely curious, because, like, I'm sure there are people. Whenever I ask this question, there's at least three people that respond, but it's like, does anyone actually find this fun? Usually there's at least, like, three or four people that'll say, yeah, I, I think this is fun. You know, three small enemies and one large enemy. But, like, I, I don't know, I just can't help but wonder, like, do they playtest this crap? They, they have to playtest it, they obviously do. But does nobody ever stop and think, like, hey, every single trash pool is just three small enemies and one large in these variant dungeons. They're all exactly the same, and none of them are engaging. So I just, like, I don't know, at some point does somebody stop and say, hey, why are these here? Is it just, like, arbitrary? Are we just padding the runtime? Like, what, what, what purpose are these serving here? I just feel like that conversation has got to get had at some point. It's worse in these variant dungeons. You really, really notice it in the variant dungeons, but the regular dungeons also have similar problems, so I don't know. I just Maybe it's just me. I, maybe I'm the crazy one. But I feel like I'm probably not the only one. That's crazy. That's a lot of cannons. So this is where the fairy fight happens. She does, in fact, have a gun. Yeah, so remember what I said about replacing Celine with, with her? I'm just saying, that's... That's still on the menu. It's not too late. Listen, after, uh, Bardom's Metal, we beat up a griffin and then it became a mount. Well, actually, that kind of happens here, too. Spoilers. Ow! What a wicked trap. Yeah, what the heck? You can't just put stuff in the middle of the arena, that's illegal! Oh crap. Oh, it's a, just a knockback, okay. Oh right, I'm too angry to be knocked back. <laughs> ah, warrior. One, two, three. Four, five. Really suck at this. Four and five are fake. Three is fake. Three and five are fake. Yeah, this fight's pretty fun so far. I mean, it's just memory checks, but I don't mind a memory check every now and then if it's fun. Okay, uh, oh, uh, oh. Trippy. Here we go, it's whoopee time. Oh, crap. Is the, the shadows on the ground, or? Mm. Uh oh. I guess it is. Oh, I, I think I was supposed to. Oh, I see. Yeah, the, the cushion will cushion my, my fall. That makes sense. Ah! The grand prize is apparently mine for the taking. Uh, what? Hey, get back here. What? Stop that. I, uh, I keep moving. I don't know why, but I don't like it. Hunks of junk. Alright, we got a knockback balloon. Five and six are safe. I could just, yeah, do that. Knockback mitt. But I look like an idiot. Never guess what I've got in store. I probably won't, to be fair. All right, let's do it. Yay. All right, two and six are fake. Sure is nice of her to drop two bullets every time. Exactly. No more, no less. Oh, I'm missing a primal rend. We. If not for those two bullets, I don't know what I would do. I guess I'd get shot. Surprise balloon. I think not. I give up. Yeah, you bet you do. And that's a prank too far. Five points. We get two potsherds and a fishing spot. So the middle path is just like a boring wood robot fight. The right is, is this really wacky fairy nonsense. I really wonder what's on the left side then. And the hidden boss for that matter. Matsya catches uh, a moss fish. I'm oh, sorry, a shoe covered in moss. Ah oh, yes, and we have a, a glorious addition to our record. Yeah, this basically just says that there was a fairy with a gun and we fought her. And uh, once upon a time, Nimian scholars had fairies. <laughs> wow, sure I have never heard about that before. And I guess after the War of the Magi, the South Sea Isles is where the, the Nimian idiots settled too. So finding a fairy is unsurprising, but yeah, otherwise not much more to the story than that.
Let's go for another one. All right, Machio wants to go to the right, so I guess we're doing the secret boss since it's uh, it's apparently it's on the right. So we get to wander on over yonder and kill all this junk again. This really does look like uh, another side of my island sanctuary. If I just took a random screenshot facing the mountains, you would think that that's where I was at. Kind of funny. Nut lob. Don't lob nuts. Ow. Get this thing out of here. Deadly coconut. I put the axe in the coconut. That makes it all better. Alright, it's three dodo time. And decimate. Primal rend. Alright, we gotta fight this big wooden idiot again. Oh, no, he's got swords. Oh, now he's just doing this again. I didn't realize he had swords. Yeah, now this is the part where I just... I, I guess I can throw stuff at him. That's kind of nice. Good thing I, as a warrior, carry a backpack full of tomahawks. Never know when you might need to throw some tomahawks. Behold! Bro, I- what? How? Eventually, after enough fell cleaves sustained to the face, it will die. This is uh, true of most things, so I've been told. He's gonna dive around, I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna launch myself at him, and hit him with an axe until he's dead. Hey, get back here. Said I was gonna hit you with an axe until you're dead. Idiot. Kindly stand still so that I can do just that. There we go. Alright, fairy appears. Well, no secrets? No. How can I deny such an innocent face? Uh, easily. Trust me? Uh, no, I don't think I can. Friendliest face you'll see on this island. That might actually be true. But, uh, no. May the sun bleach my bones. Eh, I got sunscreen. I think I'll be okay. Look at Matsya, mowing the lawn with his face. The jacked legend. Shame that on the other side of the lawn is, uh, three small boars and one big boar. Somehow I feel like I should have seen this coming. Alright, get out of here, idiots. You're beginning to bore me. <laughs> okay. Well, these are definitely mimics, then. Do it, Matsya. He's gonna make me do it. How many, you think? Oh, all of them. Actually shocked yet again that it's not three small mimics in one big one. They really didn't hold back on this dungeon, huh? Ah, uh, the decimation. Oh, I didn't even get the primal rend. Oh, what am I gonna do with it? It's timing out. Oh, what a tragedy. Okay. This part is very, very precise. First of all, I need to figure out what I'm looking at. Oh, uh, so this is probably gonna be the whale. That's gotta be the sparrow. And this is clearly a turtle. Okay. Oh, dancer of the skies hear me and then we dance yeah break it down i love cheat codes all right so that appears to have worked we've got a whale a messenger from beyond the horizon hear me and we go around once yeah and then we go back around and then uh we dance yeah get it Ooh Okay, it's turtle time. Heroes in a half shell. And because my brain is in a half cell, I, uh, I looked up all the answers. I kind of like these little puzzles, though. I think that, uh, I do look forward to doing future variant dungeons and actually figuring them out myself. It's just I'm unfortunately on a time crunch right now, and I already decided that I was going to do variant dungeons here. It would have been better if I'd saved it for a week where I had more free time to actually experiment with them, because I, I think it would have been a lot of fun to figure these out. Even though, really, you just read the answers out of the uh, the other log entries, and then you you know put a couple of pieces together, two and two usually, and that kind of gives you everything you need to know. But I do think it'll be a lot of fun to actually uh, solve on my own in the future. Anyway, all right, we go around. Twice counterclockwise, and then we bow. Path opened, your prayers were heard. Oh, were they ever. Huh? Haunts ya. Oh my gosh. Well, why is the secret zone always like some Dark Souls area? Oh no. Could it be? Oh, it's only two small enemies and a big enemy this time. They heard my prayers. They've actually been innovating. Oh, that, uh, that idiot pirate guy is here. All right, pal, you brought this on yourself. Storm's path. Bam. Okay, got us a leather sack. I can't believe I took his sack. Let's see what we get. Oh, well, I, uh, I ran too far forward. Matsya disappeared. And, uh, now I can't put the things on the things. So, all of that was a waste of time. Oh, well, yeah, I get ejected back out here. I think I will actually still get a different ending this way. Annoying though that was. Oh, I got an aloe aloe fairy cushion. Those are worthless, but I have one. All right, well, do this fight again. Yay. Ah, how did I forget about that? It feels like the type of thing that I'll just run into every single time. What a wicked trap. Shut up, Matsya. A couple months ago in a mentor roulette video, I made a joke about a noob teacher NPC explaining all the mechanics 
for idiots that can't, you know, read and also put one and two together. But I gotta say, playing through some of these uh, these variant fights, that's actually what it feels like, because the, the NPC just calls out exactly what's happening as if you can't tell. It was like, if you got all the way through Endwalker in order to even unlock this content and you couldn't figure out simple mechanical tells, I don't know, man, I just... Like, at that point, putting a uh, text on the screen to explain it probably ain't even gonna help. Also, I just got shot. I don't think these even reach center or do that. Let's find out. Oh, they so do. Ah, oh, crap. She's got Jack in the box now. Picked the wrong one. How am I supposed to know? Okay, that one's not right. Okay, that one's not right. I think this guy is, uh, yeah. I don't deserve the prize. What, why not? Give me my prize. I worked hard for that. Okay, I still don't understand how the dart thing works. It's like red is the bullseye. Yeah, that should be good. Oh, the green is uh, probably the one we want, huh? A meteor. Oh, crap. Yeah, I didn't even see the green stripe until it was too late. I wish Matsya had yelled about it. Where's noob teacher when you need him? Oh, uh, I think one and two are, uh... No, things are getting rough. Holy crap. Two is the one that sucks. Oh crap! Were the bullets reversed or something? I swear. She definitely dropped a two. Uh, now you get to do the whole fight over again. Oh. Okay, no, that that one wasn't even like I didn't even step through the middle there. Four and six definitely both got dropped. Huh, yeah, they they did. Maybe I just can't count. Yeah, no. It's been pretty normal both times this run. I don't I don't know what happened that last go around, but I'm weird about some of these boxes. Oh, it's darts time. Let's see if I can get it right. Here we go. Aw, man. Hey, it's cheating. Get in there. Just get in there. Aw. I guess I'll get hit with a meteor. Yeah, that sucked. Okay, it's one and six. Look at that. Ow. Somehow I still got a ball. Alright, well, she's almost dead again. Let's not let anything bad happen. Wouldn't want anything untimely to come about. Five and six both failed. Really doing the treasure chest thing again. It just did this. There we go. Die again, idiot. Oh boy. Two potsherds. Time for Matsya to get some fish. Maybe. Last time he caught a shoe. The time before that, he just caught a piece of seaweed. This guy's the worst fisher ever. Alright, let's see what he got. He actually caught a fish that time. Uh, it's a. not an axolotl. No, not quite. Like a yeah. All right, cool. Anyway, get out of here before this thing starts trying to evolve. Next thing you know, it'll be joining my roulette runs. We can't have that. Yeah, well, I did get another route. A lalafell or a fish? What? Hey, lalafell or not fish? Okay, this talks about a, the legend of a, a lala that got thrown into the ocean and did in fact turn into a fish. And this fish is called a, a lala ulusu. So the lalafell might be fish. Okay, I have done this again. Let's do this correctly this time. See how it goes. So it should be sparrow far, whale mid, and turtle close. Okay, this should clear the mist. Allegedly. Get us to, oh, the air tree. It's a gigantic mad baby with a gumball. I've never been so jealous in my entire life. I want that gumball. Oh, what's about to happen? Um. Oh, no. What? It's a wooden idiot? Loku Loki. Okay. Uh, not what I was expecting. What's our music? It's just generic boss music. Well, up and at him. What could a giant mad baby possibly do? Nothing, says me. Can't be stopped. I've got the power of fell cleave on my side. Or in this case, Lala fell cleave. Uh, she's summoning birds. Those ones are gonna double, aren't they? Holy crap. Called it. Getting too good. Thanks, noob teacher, for explaining what I already know. We got salamanders. Do you think they're angry, perhaps? Oh, they are angry. Get primal rendered. Petals unfurl. Uh, I don't know what that means, but I don't like it. Um, okay. Yeah, it's just a big AOE. Land wave. Okay. Ah, flowers. Oh, oh god. I didn't think the flowers would explode. Can't believe she got me with the old exploding flower trick. It's the oldest one in the book. Oh, sky be mine. No, you can't have the sky. We gotta share the sky. Did your parents teach you anything? Oh, crap. Dude, it's huge. You gonna teach me that spell? I'll learn that one. That's a gigantic baby. I might die to damage. Oh, God. Stop. 
Alright, let's do this. You wanna go? Let's go. Bell, cleave. Alright, easy. Hey, come over here. Come over here, I can't reach. There we go. Alright, the petals are about to unfurl again. Uh-oh. Joining the home gang gang. I lived anyway. Turns out it didn't really matter that much. I didn't realize that was a long tether, short tether mechanic. For some reason, I just assumed they were all gonna blow up at the same time. I wasn't thinking with my noggin. Alright, so this one's pretty easy. Watch. I'm gonna stop DPS just so I can see it, see? Step from one into two. Land wave is a forward cleave. This is a fun enough fight. It's it's a little bit more, like, straightforward and simplistic. I think the Pipe Man was better. I think Mount Rokone is just better in general so far. I haven't seen the uh, left side boss, this dungeon, yet, but nothing here has really blown me away. All right, and there is the frailty of words for five points. Or is two pot shards. Dumb baby statue has returned to the gumball of life. Now I will be entering the tree. You can really tell they were playing Elden Ring here. They ain't even trying to hide it anymore. Oh, Matsu's got a fish. All right, what did we catch? Uh, it's just a, a large gentleman. That's what Pasa-san knows about this fish. It's probably an endangered species, the last of its kind. Bet it tastes good with garlic butter, though. And we got another side quest. I haven't done a single one of those from any of the three variant dungeons. Let's read some lore. We got the Wellspring of Golden Memories. Uh, this one's all sentimental about how Sasapu or whatever, what was this guy's name? Pasasun. Uh, I guess he's, he's been a long time friends with Matsya, which I didn't even realize. The more interesting part is that I guess uh, the Lalas of the island found that the fish of the air tree pond have curative properties, and so they feed them to babies to stop them from being sick, and it works. So if you eat your magic fish, uh, if you eat the magic fish, you become immune to diseases, kind of. Wallows are just that awesome. Oh, but anyway, there's still one final boss for us to get today, and that is the keeper of the left side of the map. Whatever it may be, we are going to find it. Go left, Matsya. Dang it, man, you had one job. Roll this way, idiot. I want to see what's over here. Oh, well, the beach is nice. There's a boat over there. All right, now's the part where I primal rend a ton of flying fish. Bam! Pretty cool cave. Oh. And it's raining. I gotta say, rain on a beach sounds pretty awesome right now. I could go for it. It'd be nice to have a nice beach vacation. I think few people would disagree with that, but it just sounds kind of nice. I haven't been to the beach in a while. Problem is, they don't give you any achievements there. I dare say I might be due for a break sometime in the near future, though. I've been uh, been grinding pretty hard. I still feel like I'm, uh, you know, needing to do more, really, because especially with the uh, mental roulette videos on break, I definitely haven't been putting out as much content as I want to, at least on YouTube. I've been streaming more than ever, which is largely where the problem is coming from, but my goodness, yeah, the uh, past few months Leading up to Dawn Trail, and then with the launch of Dawn Trail, it has just been non-stop. This past week, I've just been scrambling like crazy to try and uh, get this stupid subathon ready for the Twitch channel. By the time this video comes out, that'll probably already be over, but we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, it'll, it'll probably already be over. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, there's not really any break in my schedule up until TwitchCon at the end of September, so... Maybe someday I can schedule something. Yeah, probably gonna be on the grind until at least then. I did get my one week uh, trip to Colossal Con a couple months ago though, so I can't complain too much. But I think the hardest part of everything is uh, now since this is basically my job, being my own boss, I'm, I'm always wanting to get more things done. I've always got more ideas for like videos I want to make and streams I'd like to conduct and things like that, but you realize very quickly that there's just not enough time in the day. No, but anyway, Woodman is dead. Let's stop complaining for five minutes and actually uh, finish this run, hey? Oh, we're actually going to a boat. Oh boy, more magic prism. Uh, Matsya, you really want to stop and fish? Fine. The sun's going down. Hey, fish faster, idiot. You didn't even catch anything. Well, the tide rises with the setting sun. We fished for so long that we're running out of pathway and we're still walking down this road, which might disappear behind us at any moment. Oh my god, now I gotta help him dig for bait. How about, how about right here? There's sand here. Patient go the fish. God, I wish I were patient. Can you hurry up? I just want to get to this obvious boss arena in the distance. Sewer water. We fishing in a sewer? Fish are more trouble than they're worth. Let's try somewhere else. All right. How about that obvious boss arena over there? Seems like a nice place. And primal rend. Come on, hurry up and die. Cool. Great catch is just ahead. Oh, you mean in the obvious boss arena? Okay. Yeah. Let's go there. Oh, I'll be honest. I didn't really know what to expect, but that wasn't it. Ketaduke. I guess this place really is one giant sewer. I hope have had ye. A lot of lines on this floor. I don't like the look of it. Uh-huh. Okay, they're just big 
explosions. It's good to know. Those ones are clearly lines. They're gonna shoot adjacent to the yep. Bubble is holding a crystal aloft. Okay, so that one's gonna slide. Oh. I thought the one that wasn't in a bubble was gonna slide. <laughs> Why am I standing in that? Oh, that's just cheating. How was I supposed to know that was gonna happen? Uh, I actually don't know what to do here. Well, I'm gonna home gang. Oh, okay, so that one's getting lifted up. That means he's fake. What a poser. Right, those are gonna move over too. Probably gonna be like here, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I kind of don't know what more they can really do at this point, but this is another one of those fights where, like, the crux of the mechanic is just trying to make it confusing. Like, it's just trying to confuse you, but functionally, it's very, very simple. All right, those was Twin Tides. That means it's going to do that one. Yeah. Because, yeah, it's moments like these where it becomes increasingly obvious just to how few mechanics this game engine is, like, capable of handling. Like, there's, there's not really that many different things that game can do. And so the devs are just constantly trying to find creative ways to reapply the same handful of mechanics. And it's impressive some of the things they come up with, but at the same time, it man, you really feel those limitations. I don't know what it takes to, like, add new mechanical capabilities into the game, but, like, they gotta do something. They gotta do something. That's the one thing I liked, especially about Bazia, was that, you know, it, it is kind of like a microcosm of every single mechanic in the game, every single style of fight in the game is represented in Bazia, but the uh, fun part of it is in the like the wacky build variety and all the shenanigans you can get up to with the 100 different lost actions, and then just the sheer scale of it all since so many of the confrontations include like 50 other players, but yeah, for like smaller, more focused fights like this, you can really, really feel how few actual mechanics there are in the game. I wonder how they're going to handle that going forward, if they're just going to keep, you know, finding new ways to mix up the same old thing, or if they're ever or if they'll ever, like, actually change anything. Anyway, there's Lord of the Skies for five points. But yeah, basically the uh, game engine is really starting to show its age nowadays, and I think that uh, bumping the graphics up a notch was a good idea, but they are going to have to fix some of the back-end stuff a little bit as well. Expand the capabilities, or it's just going to become stale. But well, we shall see. I guess that's kind of like shaping up to be my opinion of Variant Dungeons so far is that they are relatively fun. I think there's definitely fun to be had here. I like the idea of a branching dungeon that has like little mini puzzles built into it in order to get different endings. I think it's a good idea and I think it's relatively fun when you play it as well. But yeah, just so much of the structuring of the dungeons with the trash packs and the uh, the way the boss fights are designed, so much of it just feels outdated. I will never have as much fun in a Variant Dungeon as I will in Bosia. You know? And I know they're not the same type of content, but this is what we got instead of, uh, you know, exploratory content for Endwalker. And so, like, I can't help but compare them, you know? But yeah, so far Dawn Trail uh, combat content has been decent. It's definitely a step above Endwalker. And so I'm hoping with uh, the battle content trending in the right direction as it has been, hopefully the new variant dungeons are improved over these ones as well. Because this is a concept that is not without potential. Anyway, Monty didn't catch anything, and so... Uh, He's gonna stay here and fish more. I'm gonna leave. Yeah, all rants aside, we return to our friend Pasasun, who looks like he leaves Yelp reviews, and that is... Ah, oh, crap. I forgot that some docks you can actually run off the edge of. Was I saying? Uh, yeah. That is going to be where we leave it off for today. We got all four unique bosses on Allo Allo Island. Oh, wait, I didn't read the lore. Hang on, let, let, let me read what piece of lore we got there. Started that trend, I might as well keep it up. Right, so this one just says that the, uh, Sacred Sky Whale that we killed is apparently a messenger of the gods, and Matsuo was concerned about, you know, annoying them, and here the pigeon tells us how to do the whale ritual, which I just did earlier to uh, unlock the secret boss. Because I'm so smart that I knew it before I even had the ability to read about it firsthand. LOL. I'm kind of surprised they don't hard lock you in, uh, into an order on these. Thankful, but just kind of surprised. Because yeah, it's supposed to be you uh, finish a couple routes, they give you hints to finish a couple more routes, and then like eventually when you finished enough routes, you put all the pieces together to get the final route, which is the the secret boss. Or you could just look it up on the internet and go straight to it. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna be it for this one, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Let's go ahead and roll the outro. So there you have it. I got a clean five achievements this week for a total of 30 points. This brought my LAL achievement score up to 17,925, and my server rank is now sitting at 118. The Twitch subathon is in fact still ongoing literally right now as I record this. So come hang out and join in the suffering. I'm 
I'm gonna get back to playing Forspoken and crying every time another hour gets added to the clock. One like equals one hour. Okay, bye. And this guy is sunk through the floor. How much did they pay to make this game? How much did they spend on this?